welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott-Okataya, founder and CEO of JSA. Joining me today, we're excited to have Mr. Nick Palmer. He's the Vice President of Enterprise CPAS Sales at 8x8, and Warren Rayburn, Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing of Comstar Technologies. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you for having us. Well, we are very excited to have you guys. Great conversation lined up for you today. Uh, for our viewers who may not already know, Warren, can you tell us a little bit about what makes the partnership between Comstar and 8x8 so unique? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, for us at Comstar, the, the big push in, in 2020 with my arrival and, and subsequent uh, to that in 2021 and beyond, we're looking to take our our, our, our business and our client base up market and uh, to partner with a group like 8x8, you know, in terms of their, their brand recognition, you know, their work, uh, you know, uh, the Magic Quadrant and otherwise with Gartner and the recognition they've received within the industry, you know, to, uh, to tether ourselves to, to that type of branding and otherwise is extremely beneficial. Uh, I would also just compliment them from the standpoint of, you know, and, and invariably what we're here today to talk about with CPASS, um, you know, the, the development time, energy, and effort that they put towards the platform, you know, that, uh, frankly holds great appeal for us and, and help enables ourselves on that journey uh, and moving up market and, and uh, giving ourselves some exposure in the enterprise space, which Nick represents. And talk about all this recognition, Warren. Comstar recently announced it's the first 8x8 channel partner to provide the company's robust CPaaS offerings in the marketplace today. Exciting stuff here. So tell us a little bit about CPaaS and what it means for your current and future customers. Yeah, thank you, uh, Jamie. First and foremost, we're thrilled, you know, to uh, to have that distinction and uh, certainly, you know, another uh, another 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 avenue on the partnership front with Eight by Eight that uh, you know we're, we're we're very happy to bring to the marketplace and collaborate on moving forward. So for us, you know, the appeal on the. Uh, you know, on this front was really rooted in extending the freedom and customization and, and otherwise creativity to our base. You know, I touched on initially the desire to take our business up market. And, uh, you know, this, this certainly gives us an additional tool to have a conversation at the enterprise level, as Nick here represents for 8x8, you know, uh, collaborating with him and his team uh, to, uh, to better penetrate our base and to render some greater, as I said, tools and otherwise uh, for our for our clients. Uh, you know, what I would highlight in particular is, you know, we talk about the freedom and the customization piece, and a lot of people ask me, okay, well, what's what's ultimately, you know, some of the key differentiators between CPAS and UCAS? And, you know, I would say that UCAS is more of an out-of-the-box solution, whereas CPAS empowers the client to have more control and more say over their journey um, through the API methodology, development kits, and otherwise, you know, being able to interconnect with uh, CRM environments, uh, billing engines, and otherwise, um, you know, it, it provides for a more data-driven engagement. So equipping their back office to be more informed when engaging their customers, giving them greater latitude to communicate via voice, SMS, uh, email, and do so in a more seamless fashion, uh, particularly as we all come to grips with, you know, a continued work from home environment and otherwise, and all of us transitioning between various media and so forth in our communication, uh, it's, uh, you know, it certainly allows for that freedom and flexibility that, that today's customer demands. Um, so for me, the final point is, you know, overall avoiding technology obsolescence. You know, we still have a large group of customers, thousands for that matter, that are rooted with premise-based and in the premise-based PBX space. So taking this as a first step on their digital transformation journey without the, uh, you know, potential pain and disruption of a physical forklift is, is absolutely huge. And so we're just, again, thrilled to be a part of this, uh, thrilled to get out on the front foot with this technology and uh, bring this to uh, to our base and, and many more you know hopeful subscribers to follow. Uh, well said, well said. Nick, bringing you in here, can you tell us more about how CPAS addresses pain points across critical industries like healthcare and even uh, telemedicine specifically? Yeah. First of all, the, thank you to the whole Comstar team for being a great uh, channel partner going with the CPAS services with 8 Byte. So uh, we are very thankful for that. And uh, when you start thinking about, uh, uh, you know, a year ago, as uh, we were thinking about just 
before the pandemic hit, right? Uh, that's when we, this proof was formed. So under 8x8, we have so many different assets uh, around CPaaS, uh, video, video analytics, messaging, a whole suite of CPaaS products. And when you start thinking about telemedicine or just healthcare, it's such a big topic, right? Or such a diversified portfolio of services which falls under healthcare. Uh, but what has kind of peaked the most uh, during the pandemic or the last year is telemedicine. And when you start thinking about telemedicine, it could be an engagement between a doctor and a patient, or it could be a healthcare coach, it could be a nutrition coach, it could be just a therapy coach. So it has taken many different forms. So where CPAS kind of uh, helps in, in the digital transformation or engagement is around different channels it can provide. So, so let's think about the customer journey here. When you start kind of book, and, and everyone has experienced in many ways, uh, one of the services, uh, but how kind of CPAS is powering underlying technology underneath that. So first one could be uh, scheduling appointments or appointment reminders, right? Coming through an email is a great uh, tool, but text messages kind of come in uh, very handy in those uh, uh, instances because the open rates of text messages is around 95% in less than five minutes, right? Emails, uh, I don't want to even talk about those numbers, you know, uh, and I said there are a lot of data and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I would say analysis, which is done been done by the gardeners of the world, but look at your own phone. You know, how many unread emails you have and how many unread text messages you have. So it's very effective channel. Uh, so that's kind of the beginning of the customer journey while booking. And then once you get into a, a, a telemedicine application, what we have done is we have implemented something called WebRTC in our video technology. And what that is, it's a very standardized way of communication. WebRTC stands for you know, Web Real-Time Communication. And it's become a standard of all the browsers and operating systems. What that means is that you don't have to install anything on your machine or on your mobile phone or your desktops or your iPads of the world or tablets to have that quick call with your doctor, which could be five or 55 minutes. So the technology which is powering a lot of this video, which we have uh, coming from our JS platform helps and enables doctor and patient communication easy. You know, right? Before this, it was install this, install that, you know, plugins and unplugs and what kind of all the issues we had to just have a simple call, right? Uh, so that's the first portion. And the second uh, after that also, we have analytical tools behind that, which allows, allows us to kind of identify if there are any issues during the call in terms of bandwidth or something or what needs to be fine tuned to have, make this engagement. And it's a very critical engagement. Uh, when you think about healthcare, it's not a, it's not an easy topic or something which you're like, hey, we're just having a fun call, like uh, you know, happy hour call on one of the uh, video conferences. But this is very something serious, very tangible, it has uh, needs to be measured properly and we provide end-to-end -end tools. And in the end, we have uh, something called as SMS Engage, which is a survey product, which can be bolted. And as soon as the call is done, you can send out a text message and we can design the surveys. Customers can respond to that and it's easily collected. So from, from the beginning to the end, and in the end also we can say, hey, by the way, you have a follow-up, would you like to schedule? And this can be all done through text messaging as well. So we touch the patients and the doctor engagement at different points. And this is just on a higher level. Yeah. So all the CPAS APIs, which we provide has been kind of used and consumed at different various uh, pain points or to resolve some of these pain points in a customer journey in telemedicine. Ah, I love that, I love that. And taking the, the patient journey and now Warren uh, moving into to the businesses environment, how does CPAS enable businesses to stay connected with their customers at any point uh, within, uh, to use Nick's words, that customer journey. Uh, what, how is it so vital in today's evolving environment and, and uh, how, how are we addressing this with this new CPAS uh, uh, product? Yeah, great question. And I think you know, there's a number of things that appeal to, to Comstar as it relates to uh, you know, this, this partnership and you know, on, the, on the CPAS front. Uh, on behalf of our clients, you, you think about it, for me at least, you know, I, I start down that that path of the the security component, and you know the the 
the way in which this environment is managed otherwise, you know, the HIPAA compliance, you know, you, you go all the way down the list, uh, GDPR compliance and otherwise. So you're able to deploy this transformational strategy, this cloud oriented strategy with the peace of mind that again, you have a backing of a network, you know, like eight by eights for that matter. And uh, you know, the, the compliance elements and otherwise. So that's a big component for me. You're able to do this and you're able to do it securely. Um, the uptime also, that's, that's a major, major point uh, that, that shouldn't be lost uh, here in any conversation around CPAS to follow. Um, I think it's four nines and a three, I think it's 99.993% uptime. So that's absolutely tantamount to maintaining a positive customer experience. You know, to Nick's example, you know, think about that, the sensitivity of a medical consideration, mm -hmm. uh, consultative or otherwise, uh, to know and, and go into that engagement with the peace of mind that you can rely on the technology uh, to, to make for that, uh, you know, as little disruption as possible. And uh, I would end by saying, you know, for us at Comstar, the ability to match that flexibility, that security and uh, the uptime, you know, alongside of an offering at the edge that allows us to bridge together multiple WAN connections uh, with our SAS E offering. Uh, so, you know, ultimately giving clients access to two or more WAN link connections at the same time, uh, you could do so remotely. Uh, secure VPN considerations and tunneling elements. So all of those things coming together to ensure that you're on, online and up as, as in an optimal fashion, you're doing so and engaging securely. And all the while going back to my initial point around, you know, the just, I mean, it's overwhelming to some extent how much interconnectivity is available. You know, as I said, billing and CRM, you know, I, I neglected to touch on the major chat environments that this solution is, uh, you know, equipped to engage immediately off the bat. You know, all of them that, you know, we think of on a daily basis from WhatsApp and, and others that we call on more readily, all out of the box and ready to go. Uh, and then there's frankly more available as, uh, as Nick alluded to, you know, with the APIs and otherwise. So yeah. that for me is really, you know, how it, how it meets that demand and uh, ensures that, you know, that customer journey is a stable one and a secure one. And that's a great transition to my next question, actually. Nick, what role does CPaaS play uh, in digital transformation? That, that key buzz phrase, uh, particularly uh, during the pandemic, but uh, how, are we, how are we helping businesses transform? Yeah, you know, just to uh, piggybacking on what Warren was saying around security and uh, communication through WhatsApp, uh, CPaaS literally breaks all the barriers when it comes to communication. And, and, and what I mean by barriers is around not only the way you can communicate, but also global communication, right? Customers and users are looking to communicate in their preferences or, or their channel of preferences, right? So what we provide here in digital transformation, digital transformation in my, uh, you know, it has a lot of definitions around, you know, how you view. Some people look at this thing as systems and processes. I see this thing more as starting with people, yeah. right? Uh, and how people are gonna, you know, you can have the, the, the best system and solution out there, but if your people are not used to it or not trained to it, you know, your digital transformation is incomplete without that. Right? So it all starts with that. And when you start talking about people, what comfort level do they have uh, and how they wanna communicate? or how digitized they want to be in this scenario. I mean, look at us, uh, two years ago, video conferencing was not a big thing, it was there, but you know, but now I mean, you, you see people being on video and you know, people cooking in the background and kids walking by and it's become a norm, right? So uh, th this is all digital transformation. People has bought this digital transformation into our everyday, whether it's personal or work life. Talking about technology, how CPaaS, is powering digital transformation. So, you know, from security perspective, we of course provide a lot of encryption in our video and our other analytical tools, but also we can provide a simple two-factor authentication. A lot of businesses, when you talk about CPaaS, is two-factor authentication. That's how 10 years ago, all these big companies have built their future or their fortune, I would say, on that. And so simple, you know, you might've seen in the Ubers of the world or banking application or any of those things where you know, you're trying to enter your phone number and you get a pin code or you lost your password or you, and, and how many times we forget our password? Many times. 
So it's a simple technology, but it's been there and it's effective. It works out of box, right? When we kind of uh, fast forward into other areas, and I'm not, I'm not touching on telemedicine, let's say LMS, education, right? Has become a, a big element on how we educate our kids these days. You know, there's a, there was a joke, writing joke on like, now we have to, now that everything is opening, I think so we might have to train our kids how to be back in class. Yes. <laughs> because they are now used to kind of like being on Zoom and doing their own thing. And uh, so, so when you start thinking about uh, these different applications, uh, even within LMS could be mass notifications, video, video analytics, different tools, which we provide. That's one thing. When, when I was talking about cross border or breaking the barriers, I'm talking about border barriers here also, where we have one something called a chat app API which is very powerful because it's a single API which allows you to send a message through the channel of your choice. It could be WhatsApp, WeChat, which is very popular in China, yeah. Line, Kick, Facebook Messenger, Zalo, Viber, and SMS. And th there's an orchestration built inside this API. What that means is that you can send to one channel, wait for some time. If you don't get a response, try something different and so on. So this API is very powerful, but I, I like to call this thing as a breaking barrier, cross-border powerful API, because guess what? Many people in LATAM or in Asia, they don't use text messaging, they use WhatsApp. Yeah. So now we are reaching out to customers in their channel of preference and the journey could start that customer services, or even now WhatsApp is opening up to other non-transactional messages. Originally it was designed around only consumer oriented support or customer query kind of messages. Now they're sending out, they're allowed just recently and I'm talking about just last week, they're opening up because they see this that has become a more powerful engagement channel. And this is just a tip off and I can go on and on on how CPaaS kind of a digital transformation. But I think so you get the picture where Anytime people uh, want to communicate, we can provide in that. And we still have a wise API also. So, you know, you can have all different kinds of APIs to communicate in the preferences of their customer. Unbelievable. Yeah, well said. Breaking down those borders, right? Yeah. Uh, people as well as, as systems. Uh, mm -hmm. Warren, can you tell us how CPaaS will drive new revenue for Comstar while also playing into your, your client retention strategy? Yeah, thank you. So I would start, I mean, there's a number of trends before us in 2021. Um, you know, the, the one that stands out for me and in one of our previous JSA uh, roundtables, you know, I was asked, you know, what, what I felt would be the, uh, you know, the most uh, compelling trend in 2021. And for me, it's M&A, right? Mergers and acquisitions. And, you know, Nick and I were having this conversation, you know, while going through the, the launch together. And you know, for me, so often we're confronted with situations where a client will approach us through the renewal process and inform us that they've been acquired by another body, um, or they're in the process of acquiring another group themselves. So, you know, from a retention standpoint, or in that second example, a potential cross-sell uh, matter. You know, for me, CPAS is the key to bringing all of those things under one corporate umbrella, arguably. Uh, it equips us to, in turn, you know, uh, perhaps downplay the existing environment being a, a, an influencing factor and those organizations coming together and rather unite them under this, you know, this CPAS consideration ultimately. So you can bolt on, you know, you can have various, you know, back office considerations, uh, you know, various software tools at your disposal. And as Nick has, you know, reinforced here, it, it ultimately gives you the ability to bring all those things together, the exchange of information um, as you link together disparate billing systems or disparate CRM environments. And equipping, you know, now arguably call center representatives who've worn different hats under different logos, you know, now bringing them all under one umbrella. Uh, I also get back to the platform agnostic angle. Uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, having thousands of premise-based PBX clients still under our care, you know, to be able to then now go to them and say, let's let's get on this first step together, you know, on your digital transformation journey, you know, and it's it's all. Again, from a security standpoint, I touched on earlier, uh, the analytics that are available, the call stats, the ability to generate campaigns as well to in, equip them to drive new revenue, arguably. I mean, this, this tool uh, covers and checks a lot of boxes you know, from a business development standpoint. So that's another element that I'm enamored with. 
Uh, and then finally for us, you know, it's, it's complementary of so many cloud voice solutions we, we have deployed historically. So whereby, you know, at Comstar, we have five different voice partners. Um, you know, frankly, you know, eight by eight is, is uh, you know, we've, we've added thousands of seats over the last six months with eight by eight. That is by and large, or far and away, pardon me, our largest growth segment in the business currently. Uh, so, you know, to take it from that standpoint, but also look at what we have available to us with cross-sell and upsell in these other areas, you know, and not be limited by other platform considerations. Now, again, we bring that in over the top. So for us, it really removes a lot of limitations, a lot of barriers. And I would argue it's not all that dissimilar from what we're discussing with our clients. Um, you know, I think of, even as Nick touched on telemedicine, I would wrap up by saying we're developing messaging around how this impacts certain verticals. And, uh, you know, a quick one is education for me. You know, the ability to send out mass notification through a variety of mediums, SMS, you know, email components, uh, paging integration, all of the above. Um, and then obviously the, the calling component of it as well. And that's powerful, you know, sadly with today's environment that we find ourselves in, it's a necessity. And, uh, you know, for me, again, this, this, this opportunity with CPASS solves that problem and, and vertically speaking, many, many others. And we're just really scratching the surface of it from a messaging and application standpoint. Clearly, CPASS is uh, streamlining these omnichannel communications. It's, it's incredible. Um, and, and Nick, I'm not sure, um, just to be fair, Warren gave a great CPASS versus UCAS definition. Did you have one that you wanted to uh, conclude with here? Well, yeah. So uh, if you've been uh, kind of uh, watching the media, you know, the, the new concept or the new uh, go to market, which we have from our new CEO Dave Sipes is around XCAS. So it's the customer experience as a platform, right? So we want to get away from the U and the C and the other C passes, but what is it we can do as a company to bring this customer experience as a platform, right? So our definition around what, what that exactly means, right? So it all builds down to a customer experience. Either we are delivering through our unified communication, through our contact center, and those are, uh, I would call them as boxed solutions, right? They do what they are designed to do with some flexibility around modules and APIs to integrate with your backend or other systems. And anything which is not available in those can be accomplished using CPaaS, right? So the edge use cases, there'll be always something where somebody will come to you and say, I wish this came in pink, you know, I'm just using an example, but I want to send out mass notifications, but I also want to have a survey after this. And I also want to do the survey through text messaging and an IVR. I want to give them an option or, you know what, in that text message, if they're not happy, I want to send them a link to do a video call right away without any, any going back and forth, right? And they can instantly have that because of the WebRTC concept, right? So think about CPaaS as the Lego pieces of the communication. You know, like a kid, I like to build things around Lego pieces and, you know, everything. So this is like you're designing your own communication or a product or an application, which will suffice your business needs or business processes. So that XCAS, which we are super excited about at 8x8, includes all that concept, which is going to make customer experience as a platform. So that's our, I would say, new definition around, uh, you know, the, the passes of the, our, our platforms as a service. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, it's XCAS. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Um, okay, one final question for each of you. Warren, I'll start with you. Uh, what else is coming up in 2021 for Comstar? Well, I, you know, there, there's, uh, there's quite a bit, uh, you know, I, again, I think, you know, our focus, as I, as I mentioned, you know, in enabling this organization to go further up market, um, that is at the forefront of our development process, uh, while also at the same time, interesting enough, simplifying our environment. You know, we're, we're a 30 plus year uh, organization. Uh, so over the years, we, we have, uh, you know, we, we've done anything and everything to keep our, our clients happy. And, and uh, in, in the sense that, you know, in, in at the same time, pardon me, we've also overextended ourselves slightly. So we're retracting some things in areas. We're simplifying things for staff. Um, and again, it couldn't have been better timed in terms of the arrival of CPASS for us, because it gives us a lot of options in terms of, 
you know, if it's if it's legacy or sunsetting certain environments or otherwise, uh, you know, providing options for clients to, to graduate into new areas and advance their own business at the same time. So for us, it's really hyper focused on growth, simplifying our environment. Um, and, uh, you know, we couldn't be more thrilled with the partnership with 8x8. Uh, sincerely, you know, been there to support us every step of the way through our evolution, um, you know, giving us the tools and otherwise to, to uh, continue to progress and succeed. You know, I touched on the seed ads that we've had, and I only envision much more of that to follow here with Nick's help and the team at large at 8x8. So, um, you know, we're anxious to see uh, folks here over the course of the next several months. I think I would only wrap up by saying, you know, now with, uh, you know, thankfully the vaccine period in the rearview mirror and getting back out into the wilds, we'll see everybody at IT Expo later this month, uh, hopefully channel partner there to follow. And, uh, you know, just some mutual events, uh, co-sponsored and otherwise with our friends at 8x8 to get the word out. Uh, so we're, we're very, very excited for 2021 and beyond. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see us uh, also launch into the M&A space ourselves. Uh, we picked up uh, and proud to partner with an organization in the Buffalo market. So uh, continue to focus on, you know, our tier two and tier three city targets. Uh, that's, you know, for us strategically, you know, we want to bring more opportunity and, and more engagement opportunities at that diversify the carrier experience and otherwise in some of those, what we feel to be underserved marketplaces. So uh, Buffalo was September of 2020. And uh, we're hopeful of bringing some uh, additional talent into this organization organically and inorganically here over the next uh, several months. So very exciting time here and we're, uh, we're looking to, looking forward. Yeah, exciting stuff. All right, uh, Nick, 8 by 8 what do you have in store for the rest of 2021? Uh, first of all, thank you for the great partnership which uh, you know we have between the two companies. So we are really thankful for that and looking to help you on your expansion wherever we can. Uh, 2021 has been very exciting for us uh, in terms of not only the, that people are getting vaccinated, it's opening. Uh, mm -hmm. I think so the digital transformation and a lot of the products and processes which we have kind of helped grow in this pandemic is are here to stay. Meaning if you look and watch any of the medias, that's what they're saying, right? So I think so we will help accelerate and actually fine tune on how people are working uh, to the fact that you know we keep on running into sudden uh, product requirements and exciting products are uh, coming on the API side also. Uh, healthcare industry is uh, a little bit, uh, I would say, acquainted, uh, a little bit older, but still has some very rigid requirements. So we are actually going to announce something exciting pretty soon, which is going to help accelerate in that industry. Our video jazz platform uh, is keeps on maturing, which is uh, what we did with our video technology, actually I didn't emphasize on that, was to make the video, adding video much easier with few line of codes. Mm. Uh, everybody else out there provides like a very low level API, whereas we want to just give you full few line of code and you can embed that. So it's great. So people are rolling out products much faster than six, nine months. Mm. So we are talking about less than a month rollout. Uh, so super excited about that. Our analytics product, uh, you know, works with, uh, uh, it's an WebRTC analytic product, which works with Amazon Connect, which is a contact center solution. So we are agnostic to that uh, as a CPaaS player, but we'll keep on adding more and more like this, where we feel that there is no tool out, which kind of really helps you analyze the video and voice. So more, more to announce, announcements coming in 2021 uh, in terms of partnership. And then we'll just keep on maturing our SMS and voice and other products as the market needs. So uh, the team is kind of more focused on going after this niche out of box use cases, which uh, you know, UCAS or CCAS does not focus on. So thank you again for having me here on this call and uh, super excited to partner with you on future projects as well. Thank you guys. I'm feeling so optimistic uh, listening to you both. It's like we're coming out of this pandemic tunnel and seeing a bright horizon. Um, so before we go, where can our viewers go to learn more? Uh, I'll first start with you, Warren. Yes. So please uh, check us out. It's uh, www.comstar-usa.com. And uh, we actually, with the help of uh, our team here at JSA, just launched a new website in December. So thrilled with the outcome there and uh, encourage everybody to go check out the new look and feel of Comstar technology. So thank you, Jamie. Uh, thank you, Warren. And Nick, where can we go for 8x8? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, you can find us on 8x8.com. 
Um, and if you want to go specifically into the CPaaS services, just click on product and you'll see APIs underneath that. And it will take you to a lot of different API product pages. Um, thank you guys so much for your time and insight here and the partnership together, bringing such great innovative products to the marketplace, uh, really emboldening those companies to take that digital transformation necessary if they haven't already. So thank you, gentlemen, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. As always, stay safe and happy networking.